Welcome back to Comics, the Hat Comics TV and the Origins Collection of Spawn. Um, moving houses is a bit of a problem, and when I moved houses, I remember losing a lot of comics that I had, um, and some of those comics that I had were the Spawn series. So many years later, whenever this came out, I ended up going this route of purchasing these hardcover because I like hardcovers and it's an image comics. And now I know that they've done only buses and I love everything that Todd McFarlane does. So, <laughs> and it's a nice production. I mean, we got UV and it's, um, you know, a painted illustration by Mark Capullo. So what do we got here? Uh, Greg, sorry, Greg. Uh, I had to call him Mark. Greg Capullo. And Todd McFarlane's. Uh, hold on, let's adjust this. This is just too, too, too close. Uh, ah, sorry, sorry. Anyway, uh, let's go on. So we already got stories by Alan Moore, Neil Gaiman, Dave Sin. Oh, Dave seems on this. Yeah, right. I forgot. Hmm. 1992. Wow. I mean, I was just a kid when this came out and just ate it up for breakfast. This was the best. Also an iconic cover. <clears throat> <laughs> the channel news report. <laughs> oh, my dad is doing nine, nine great panels. Wow. Papa Todd. Oh, what a money shot. That's awesome. Outstanding. So this is glossy cover. Glossy paper, I mean. Um... Yeah, the two detectives. <clears throat> the darkest Spider-Man. It's like a fusion of Spider-Man and Batman. This is what I take from... This is what I take from the characters. Like, a, what happens when you mix um, Spider-Man and, and Batman? You get spawned. And Ghost Rider, I guess. And Deadpool. <laughs> I am the Violator. <clears throat> I remember seeing the film. I went with my friends. Um, and we went to see the film. And then we were like, oh, yeah, that kind of sucked. But it was cool. <laughs> the special effects were the, the thing that made that movie. Spawn's not a white man, he's black man. <laughs> Quite cool. I remember when these toys came out. They were all also pretty awesome. And Todd McFarlane's still making awesome toys to this day. I mean, he's made it almost like he's taking over the industry on, on, on that sense. I mean, he's doing, I think he's doing toys for DC. No, he's doing toys for DC as well. He's doing action figures. Baseball, sports. I mean, he's doing football. He's doing, my goodness. These are cool comics. <clears throat> and for all the cynical critics, come on people, it's just comics. Calm down. It's supposed to be fun. With monsters, demons, and torture superheroes <laughs> coming back for revenge. 
Hey, dragon. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the... Not controversial, but like... I remember reading this and going like, whoa, serial killer. I mean, uh, yeah, let's not use the word, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's a serial killer as well. He's a demented, deranged individual doing horrible, horrible th crimes. I remember being in high school and kids going like, there was like certain times there were competitions on who could draw the closest with that amount of detail. Um, that was a thing that some kids used to do, so yeah. I was part of that too. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> you, could, you, you could say that we were a bunch of nerds. <laughs> Is that Angela? Angela does make it into his when medieval spawn appears. Guess that's this is halfway the whole thing. Here we go. Yeah. The controversy that this character created. My goodness. I don't even need to start talking about that. Yeah, that's medieval spawn. Night spawn. <laughs> and then Gaiman sold his, his character to Marvel. <laughs> I mean, uh, good, good on, good on Neil. For making more money. The basis of capitalism, I guess. That's look. That's pretty cool. Is this Greg Capullo doing the work? Now is is Papa Todd taking taking a step back because he's chewing too much, biting on too much stuff to do. It doesn't have any. Ah, uh, the eh, anyway, the index was at the front. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dave Sims comes in right now. He's iconic character. Mm. Now, he's got like an interview, that's pretty cool. And they did the coloring for... Um, my god, I'm a blank right now, I can't remember the name of the character. Oh uh, yeah. This is when Todd was very angry at Marvel. Cerebus. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> nice transition that went to that to Black Eye. I think that Dave Sims was very guarding, very guarded about who was going to draw, how they were going to draw Cerebus. He ended up cutting out all the stuff and ended up redrawing him. Nice collection. If you lost your floppies for some reason and want to go to memory lane and remember the 90s, <laughs> you 
this is a good book to get. Um, I, I don't know the cost of this book right now. Um, I know there's only buses, the straight paperbacks. You can get these stories in many, many different formats, and even the original floppies. So you don't need to go this this route. But I like hard covers, so yeah. Cool. Your Origins Collection Book One. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe and all those good things. Uh, until next time, have a lovely day. Take care. Bye bye.